Sean, look what I found <laughs> in my garage today. <laughs> really? You found that in your garage? I did. 15? 15 posters. Fancy. These are really cool posters. Fancy schmancy. Lamest posters. Lamest posters. Well, how do I get one of these, Ern Mardia? Well, you'll have to tune into the whole episode to find out. It's Ern Mardia. And Sean. And since friends don't let friends miss out on good TV, nope. we're going to keep you all up to date here on The, the Nine, Nine Outline. Outline. This Tuesday at 8 p.m., we'll have the first two parts of a brand new four-part documentary series by Henry Louis Gates. Ooh, I love Henry. She does. He's so great at what yeah. he does. It's a reconstruction, America after the Civil War, and so it's going to go, it's going to be all about just that reconstruction, mm -hmm. the time immediately after the Civil War and slavery, as America tried to heal its broken self, yeah. really. Um, so we're going to learn about the plans, the ideas that they had, the dreams that they had, whether or not they came to fruition and how it affects us today in 2019. So yeah. I know you're excited because you love Henry Louis Gates. Henry Louis Gates. <laughs> love him. And he's so good at what he does with yep. finding your roots and genealogy studies. And so I know he's an expert in history. And mm -hmm. so he's the perfect person to walk us through this. I mean, yeah, I, yeah I'm so excited to learn. <laughs> I know this guy is too. I am. He should be also. I cannot wait to see what expertise Henry Louis Gates yeah. brings to Reconstruction, America after the Civil War. The first two parts this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Or Mario, what's your pick of the week this week for host picks? My host pick, guys, get ready for it. Austin City Limits featuring Brandi Carlisle. Gosh, I love her stuff so much. I just got into her. She's been around for a couple of years. Yeah, I've been uh, listening to her and I've been rendered a hot mess multiple yeah. times for years with her. See, uh -huh. I didn't know her stuff really until the Grammys. She sang the joke, guys, seriously. The song is no joke. You're going to want to listen to it right now because it is like you cry all the tears like you're saying. It's yeah. super emotional, right? Yeah, she can really hit the feeling of heartbreak and, and make you feel it. It's, I, I've had it on repeat. It's a real talent. On repeat. So yeah. And if 11.30 p.m. is a little too late for you, you can hop on on to Passport and catch Austin City Limits or on PBS.org. Just type in Austin City Limits. There's a whole plethora of shows available that you can catch. But this one specifically, ACL, Brandy Carlisle. You're not going to want to miss it. 11.30 p.m. Saturday night. So, Sean, what are you watching this week? Well, this Saturday at noon, I will be tuning into Milk Street Television. The episode is Middle East Classics. I love, 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 love Middle Eastern food. So I'm really excited about how to learn uh, how to make a perfectly puffed pita. Ooh, I've made yeah. pita before. Of course. They did not turn out perfectly puffed. So I'm excited to see. So this Saturday, you yeah, can I wanna, learn I want to see how I messed it up. Um, I'm also really, really hungry for that sumac spiced chicken they're going to be making. Um, as well as they'll be teaching us how to make, um, you infuse your salads with Middle Eastern flavors. So they'll be making a nice yummy fatouche. I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited to watch this episode. I like that word. I feel like it doesn't end with an explanation yeah. point. Fatouche. Yeah. Yeah. So fatouche. I'll be watching uh, Milk Street Television this Saturday at noon for Middle Eastern Classics. Premiere day is finally upon us. For what? Les Mis. Oh, yeah. So excited about this, guys. Sunday, April 14th at 8 p.m. Catch Les Mis on Masterpiece. It is one of the best stories of all time. Very good one. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's some solid characters and actors yeah. that are going to be in this one. I mean, we have David Oyelowo. Uh -huh. We have Dominic West. Yeah. Lily Collins. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who? Phil Collins' daughter. Uh-huh. Yeah. I love it. So great. So, I mean, and, uh, oh, also, Olivia Colman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her name. Olivia Colman, <laughs> Best Actress winner of this year, this year's Academy Awards. She's Madame Tenardier, right? I, I hate that character so I much, which means I'm going to love seeing her with her portrayal. Yeah. Like, gosh, that character's the worst, though, but seriously. There are lots of really good characters to love. So, oh for gosh, the first yes. 15 people who comment below with your favorite Les Mis <gasps> character, you get one of these hot posters. We'll be sending it your way. So, again, First 15 people to comment below. Yes, right Tell us your below. favorite Les Mis character, why they're your favorite. If you can't pick, make it a top three. We're really not that picky. Just uh, tell, tell us. Tell us about it. Tell us why you love them. But like you said, first 15, <laughs> and you get to hang one of these on your wall. Yeah, and most importantly, you want to watch Les Mis 
on Sunday, April 14th at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for watching another episode of The, the Nine, Nine Outline. Outline. I'm Sean. And I'm Renmardia. We'll see you next week, my little patooshies. Bye. I really do love that word. I just Patouche. feel like it. Patouche. 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 It's a delicious dish. Patouche.